18 March 2022, this boy, Kloso Karema, a six-year-old, went missing. His mother initially thought that maybe he was playing with his friends or he had gotten lost and he would eventually be found. It was, however, apparent that after a few days that something much more sinister had occurred. His mother then filed a missing persons report with the police and appealed to residents to help her search for her boy. She lived in Lobate in Botswana with her live-in boyfriend or husband, Love Mosutole, a 37-year-old father of three. It is unclear if they were legally married or they were just cohabiting, but I assume that it is the latter. Hope began to fade as days turned into weeks and weeks turned into months and the boy was still not found. Posters and flyers were circulated both online and in person as people desperately tried to find any leads regarding the missing boy. Although the stepfather played a very significant role in comforting the mother, there was something odd that the mother could not shake off. One day she followed him when his phone rang and she realized that he was going to answer the call in the bathroom. She stood on the door and overheard him talking about her son to another person on the end of the call. This was very strange to her so she decided to confront him and tell him that she had everything that he was talking about and that she had recorded it on her phone. He angrily responded that she was trying to blame him for her missing son so he took her phone and threw it in the toilet in anger. She didn't think much of it. She just assumed that maybe it's because of her grief that she was acting in this manner. On the 13th of April 2022, which is almost a month after the boy went missing, they received an anonymous text message. This message was a tip off that there were four people that were suspicious, two men and two women, that were seen offloading some along Kanye Road. When the police arrived at the scene, they found human bones and a skull and clothes that the boy had been wearing the day that he went missing. Since it was just a skull and bones, it was impossible to tell for sure that it was indeed Kloso. So they had to do a DNA test first before announcing that they had found the missing boy. Although they were not sure if this was Kloso or not, they were quite sure that this had been a case of ritual murder. It was confirmed after a DNA test that this were indeed the remains of the six-year-old boy that had gone missing in March. The mother, however, refused to accept that this was indeed her boy and believed that her boy would be found alive. The police were now focused on finding the rest of his body parts, but it was to no avail. The case quickly became a national sensation as emotions went high and people were outraged that a young boy had been murdered for rituals. The story became even more horrific when the police suspected that the stepfather was involved. They claimed to have credible evidence of his involvement in the murder of this young boy. The mother also told the police of the conversation that she had overheard while he was in the toilet and this further implicated him in this case. When he was interrogated by the police, he confessed to selling the boy for 200,000 pula, which is approximately 15,000 US dollars. This was even more heinous. This man had chosen to sell his girlfriend's six-year-old child to ritualists just for $15,000. In court, he was represented by advocate Kiropele Sambere, who denied the confession. He claimed that the confession had been given to the police under duress. High Court Judge Justice Gabriel Komboni postponed the case to December 2023, but he postponed it again and is still ongoing. The investigating officer asked for more time from the judge in order to compile concrete evidence against Love Mosotole. The story took another shocking turn as a member of parliament in Botswana was also arrested as he was being suspected of being involved in the murder of Kloto. He was thought to be one of the people that had paid $15,000 to this man for this six-year-old boy in order to perform a money ritual. This is, however, unverified. We can only know the full extent of what happened when the trial begins. Love Mostole is still in jail awaiting trial as the trial was postponed. The mother was left alone to pick up the pieces with no child and no partner. It is only unfortunate that in Africa, people still believe that you can exchange a human life for wealth. As primitive as it sounds, there are so many people who are educated who still believe in this myth. Some of these crimes will never be solved, but we pray that Kloso's life will not go in vain. Whoever bought him and whoever severed his past and whoever did a money ritual with his past should be arrested and charged with murder and sent away for life. May his soul continue to rest in eternal peace.